Good morning, card community. It is RJ back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. A calendar, actually. This is a calendar, obviously 1996. So it was produced by a company. Uh, I'm not sure who produced it. They named it the Play Ball Calendar. And there's the copyright stuff on the back. And they did these calendars um, early in, in the 1990s, uh, maybe the late 80s. Um, and uh, this was the year after Mike got inducted. He got inducted in 95. So he got the cover shot on the play ball calendar. I loved the play ball calendars. I can't believe they're not doing them anymore. The pictures were fantastic. This obviously, who is this? Is this Minnie Minosa? Oh, no, it's a couple different people. Let's see, Bill White and uh, oh, Bill, Bill White. <clears throat> what they gave you in the calendar is people born on that day and a gigantic history lesson about baseball during the month in question. Well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, it wasn't necessarily in the month in question. It was just a lot of great information. And they did this, you know, all throughout the... Uh, early 90s this company and it is such great quality photographs too i mean it's amazing i so wish they hadn't stopped or i uh, had discontinued uh, doing it i guess tidemark might be the name of the company that printed this but it was the most amazing calendar i got it every year years ago um, I miss it terribly because of the quality of these calendars, how beautiful they were, and how, for from a baseball history standpoint, it was just fantastic. So that is my random Mike Schmidt item of the day. Random baseball item of the day, something I'm going to make fun of in a way. So I bought a box of USA Baseball a couple of years ago. This is for a Panini product. Actually, just as actually last year I bought it. It feels like a couple of years ago. It's been so long, but... One of the cards I got was a uh, autographed relic card of a uh, guy, uh, Braden Weckman. I have no idea who Braden Weckman is. A nice sticker auto there, numbered out of three forty nine. But look at the the napkin relic. Who are, the, the quality of this production is pretty piss poor. Panini did it, but you can see the corner of the. Uh, relic is kind of popping out of the little cardboard it kind of got folded under somehow so it's you know if i wanted to i could probably yank it right out of the dang cardboard very bad um quality control there over on panini's part so i'm not sure who Braden weckman is but he at least he made it into a card set got his auto and relic so this one, it's my, I just wish to lodge a complaint on that one. So anyway, today's trivia question, cool prize up there for you. This year's stars of the MLB Aaron Judge card. If you choose Mr. Home, Mr. 62 home runs. A uh, question about the Yankees. The Yankees have had a number. I mean, obviously they've had several giant World Series teams and they've had a number of legendary managers. In fact, their their early dynasty, if you recall, the early dynasty was the one from uh, nineteen uh, tw the twenties through the sixties. That was their their dominant period. I should say the mid sixties because after sixty four they were done. I mean, they went through a long period of mediocrity, but the Yankees did. So, but from nineteen twenty through nineteen sixty five, uh, the Yankees were like practically invincible and they had three great managers uh during well uh, several different managers during that t that that span so they had um obviously miller huggins in the early years he was the manager of the 27 world series team and then uh, joe mccarthy came after him took them uh through all the third the 30s when joe dimaggio first came on board and obviously you had Stengel, Casey Stengel, in the uh, <clears throat> in the interim in the fifties. Casey Stengel was perennially perennially in the fifties, 
And then uh, a couple former players, Ralph Hauk and Yogi Berra, led them to uh, greatness, so to speak, in the, uh, the early 60s. The question I have for you is, I've just let, li listed uh, several great managers. And in fact, you know, you could add Joe Torre to that, who took care of them through the uh, mid to late, mid-90s mid through the mid-2000s. You had Joe Torre managing the Yankees and doing fantastic things as well. Well, Miller Huggins, uh, Joe McCarthy, Casey Stengel, and Joe Torre are all managers in the Hall of Fame for managing the Yankees. They have all, they're all managers who led the Yankees to multiple World Series victories. There's also another manager who managed the Yankees to a World Series championship who is in the Hall of Fame. Uh, now, I'm not speaking about, I'm going to clarify this one, I'm not speaking of Bob Lemon, <laughs> because Bob Lemon is in the Hall of Fame in, for being a great pitcher with the Indians, and Bob Lemon, Lemon took over mid-season in 1978. Uh, and uh, led the, the Yankees back to the World Series and, and a victory over the Dodgers in 78. So I'm not talking about Bob Levin, but there's another manager who managed the Yankees to a World Series victory who is in the Hall of Fame as a manager. Name him. Now, I'll caveat this. I didn't research this thoroughly. Uh, I just peripherally we look at this, and I'm pretty sure this is the only manager in the Hall of Fame who led the Yankees to a World Series that wasn't one of the ones I mentioned before. But if you find one, you can use, you can give me a second one if you happen to come across one. So that's my question for you. Other than those legendary teams, it's Casey Stengel, Joe McCarthy, Miller Huggins, what other manager is in the Hall of Fame and led the Yankees to a World Series victory? All right. Again, the prize is that great Aaron Judge card up there. Uh, I need you to email me the answer. I will put my email in the description below along with repeat the question. You will have today and tomorrow to answer. We will pick a winner on Sunday, all right? Good luck with you to everybody on that one. So today, very quick showcase of things. I got a nice little care package from a uh, fellow YouTuber, Jason, over at uh, the Base Bit Card Collector. Um, was kind enough to send me a, a, a channel or a, a, a little care package with a note. Take some time to show this off right now. He even dated it. Wow, very professional. June 30th, 2023. RJ, I loved your channel. I found a few random fillies to help out for the master set. How about this Schmidt? It was my best shot to help your collection. Jason, the basement card collector. Jason, I really appreciate this, and I'll show you why in a second. So I'm going to show off some of the fillies that he, play, he, that he provided to me. So I got a serial numbered card from SP here. It was a product called the Rookie, well, a, a subset called the Rookies or Young Stars. This is Anderson Machada. I haven't looked yet to see if I need an Anderson Machada. I don't know that he actually played with the Phillies because I've seen several cards of people who never even made it to the majors, but they have, I get like lots of cards of those people. I think Machada did, I do kind of, recall him appearing in a couple games and I, actually I do know now that I think about it I do not I do not have an Anderson Machado card a couple other cards here I got a card of Dave Coggin on the victory upper deck victory set rookie 2001 David Coggin obviously a pitcher and then two cards I do I actually do have um a David Coggin card, but that's okay. That might want to be better. Two Carlton Lower cards, Metal Universe and that Fleer Tradition. So two Fleer cards. Uh, but again, it's just awesome to have cool cards. I do like the uh, Fleer Metal. It's kind of, um, it's, it's a little bit of an embossed uh, building blocks. You can see the little stack blocks, obviously. Uh, is this an insert set? No, this is just part of the regular set, 271. So those are the uh, random fillies you tossed in. I really do appreciate that, Jason. I got some really weird card, too. I don't even, I couldn't, I mean, I searched all, all morning trying to find what set this card was, where it came from, if it's part of more, 
and I couldn't, I, I went out of the bay and well, let me show you the card real quick. He sent up this cool card, picture of Bart Simpson holding a skateboard and Joe Jackson, <laughs> Bo Jackson standing next to him. Kind of cool, his uh, Bo is blowing a bubble there. And all it says on the back is Bo knows Bart. There is no copyright, there's no text, there's no information, there's no explanation of a manufacturer. There's nothing. So I have no idea where this card came from. Now I went on the bay. It seems like there were a couple other designs. I saw the same image of Bart flipped around and mirrored over on this side with Bo Jackson standing there in a wetsuit holding a surfboard. So it looks like whoever did this made a couple different poses and uh, sent it out. Now I thought, I saw on the bay somewhere that, you know, they say, there's various years listed for this card on the bay, so I don't know which is right. Someone suggested that it was a Broder card, which makes sense. If you don't know Broder, he was a photographer, uh, 80s and 90s, who made cards without licenses to do so of players, and he used those primarily as promos for his pictures. He'd hand them out to people, and it, it, had this, it would have this kind of a simplistic back to it, so... It's possible this is a Broder. Uh, I don't know, but uh, it's a really cool image. You know, it, the cards aren't worth much, but it's a really cool thing to have. Put it in a slat, put it in a top loader, and uh, show it off once in a while. It's a pretty cool card. The last thing I want to show you, and Jason, you nailed it on uh, a card I do not have. So, congrats to you, sir, for helping me out, and I really appreciate you providing me with a Mike Schmidt item. I did not yet have. So here we go. Standard uh, looking disc from the mid 70s, mid to late 70s. Uh, these were available for a number of different manufacturers, number of different sizes. Uh, blue, sometimes different colors on the sides. This one's blue. Just very basic bio of who he is, where he was born, and what position, you know, his team, whatnot. You can see it's. Uh, Major League Baseball logo and Players Association logo, so it wasn't uh, also licensed by baseball itself, which is why the logo is airbrushed. And, of course, that means that our favorite people over at MSA, Michael Schechter Associates, did it. Where is that? Uh, usually that's available somewhere. Maybe it's not here, but let's take a look at the back. There's, there's the MSA. The back, it's Burger Chef Collector Series. I did not yet have the Burger Chef. I'm not sure this is the werewolf. I, you know, I, don't know, I have no idea who the werewolf is because I never heard of Burger Chef. Where I grew up, we didn't have Burger Chef, so I'm not sure why this uh, caricature is called the were, as in where are you, the werewolf. Maybe it's like, you know, where's the nearest Burger Chef because I want something to eat. I don't know. But uh, Burger Chef, little logo of the some kind of thing down there, a guy in a hat. Um, this is a card I did not yet have. So, Jason, you nailed it on that one. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, shout out to Jason. I will include a link to Jason's channel below. He is the basement card collector. Does a lot of TTMs. Uh, shows off other things as well, but that's primarily what I have seen when I have viewed his channel. So, just uh, again, a quick little showcase and shout out to the basement card collector. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, please consider like, subscribing, commenting, and all that jazz if you are so inclined. Uh, don't forget the trivia question. Great Aaron Judge card up there for, for you to win. Uh, I will have more great videos on Wednesday and Friday, so come back for that, all right? Thanks for watching, and take care.